Elliot, we are back. It's week two of Bet the Birds. It was a tight one in Foxborough. Too close for comfort for some of those that took Eagles minus four. But the Eagles are 1-0, and and they're 1-0 against the spread. Tell me, what did you see, and is there any cause for concern with the Philadelphia Eagles after week one? Yeah, I mean, good teams win and great teams cover, right? So so ultimately, they they did cover the spread. They did leave New England with the win. It was not an impressive performance on really either side of the ball. I thought they the defense struggled against a bad offense. And I thought the Eagles offense didn't have the performance you're used to seeing out of this team with so much talent. Jalen Hurts, A.J. Brown, Devontae, Goddard was non-existent. I think the main takeaway for me was the offensive line struggled. And a team can only be as good as their offensive line. Jordan Mailata didn't play well. Lane Johnson didn't have a great game. I think it's a unit that has earned the right to get the benefit of the doubt. And you would think moving forward – they would play better, but you're right. From a gambling perspective, that game when it was 16 and 0 or 16 to nothing, it should have been a blowout. They should have won by more. The the better shouldn't have had to sweat out that four four and a half point line. They this did. should have been a rocking chair game. It should have been a rocking chair game. Uh, I agree, and it looked like it was going to be. But if you have an offensive line that struggles, it's hard. It's going to be hard to blow teams out. So my main, my main takeaway from that game was. We can talk about scheme. We can talk about the defense, Jalen, all those things. The offensive line has to be better if there's going to be more rocking chair games for Eagles betters this year. Well, I do hope that people trailed some of our bets from last week. Eagles to score first and win the ball game. That one hit Mac yep. Jones to throw an interception. You know what I'm going to ask you now? The Eagles are a little banged up. Vikings coming into town. Home opener. Are you going to bet the birds and minus six and a half at home in the home opener versus the Vikings? I think this is a really tough spot uh, for the Eagles. Now they're going to be home. It's the home opener. And those things are certainly their advantage. Nick, uh, Nick Sirianni and Jalen Hurts are 21 and four in their last 25 games together. So betting against them is always risky. But you look at the injuries the Eagles are dealing with. No James Bradbury, perhaps no Reed Blankenship. N'Kobe Dean is out. On offense, their number one running back, Kenny Gainwell, might not play. So they're certainly banged up. I think that the Viking strengths really go right at the Eagles' weaknesses right now. TJ Hawkinson is one of the better receiving tight ends in the league. I think that he is going to have give the Eagles' defense some fits. No James Bradbury to match up against either Justin Jefferson or Jordan Addison. I think the Vikings are going to be able to throw the ball, and I think that it's going to be a long day for the Eagles' defense. Can the Eagles' offense win a shootout? Not with that offensive line. And Jalen, for all that he's been great at, him and Nick have not been great in shootouts where, where it's score for score. We've, we obviously saw that in the Super Bowl. They're used to getting up big and not having to score late. I don't think that's going to be a case the case against the Vikings. So going to be a close game, but if I was going to bet the birds, I would actually bet the Vikings plus six and a half on Thursday night. Wow. The Eagles going to take the L against the spread for the first time this season. We'll see. All right, so this is the first of five primetime games, and Bet Parks offers the primetime extra down promotion for every primetime game, one of five here. So you're going to get a same-game parlay where you're going to bet $20 or more, and if your bet loses, you're going to get a bonus bet back. Elliot, I got to hear, what's your same-game parlay? Well, I love same-game parlays. They are easily my favorite type of, of gambling and type of sports betting. Here's where I would go on Thursday night. I'm going to go player props. Again, I don't think you're going to want to bet the Vikings plus six and a half. No one wants to root for that. So my no. same game parlay heading into Thursday night is about Dallas Goddard. Dallas Goddard did not have a big week one. If you look last year when Devontae didn't have a catch in that first game, he had 15 catches over the next two games and over 200 yards. The Eagles are going to get Dallas Goddard the ball, and I think it's a good matchup for him on against that Vikings defense. So my parlay, straight Dallas Goddard. Touchdown score, over 59 and a half receiving yards, over four and a half catches. It comes in, I believe, at around plus 540. Nice long odds to win yourself some money on Thursday. And I think Goddard is going to be more of a, a focal point of this offense coming off of a poor performance against the Patriots. Swinging for the fences with Dallas Goddard on prime time, Thursday night football. You got to love it. Any other prop bets you've seen this week that you kind of like or maybe don't? 
Well, let's see. Well, so I would say Jalen Hurts. Like, I think this is going to be a shootout. I think there's going to be a lot of points scored in this game. I would go the over on a Jalen Hurts anytime touchdown. You remember last year he had a signature play against the Vikings where he ran it in from about 15 yards out, arrived as an MVP candidate. I like the Jalen Hurts prop right there to score. I also think over for total yards for him. I took it last week. I missed on it. I'm not going to shy away. I think that he's ready for a big offensive performance. My concern with this game is more on the defensive side of the ball. So I think uh, Jalen Hurts over on his total yards, and then I think a Jalen Hurts anytime touchdown would be two player props I would go with. And I would also maybe, if you want, look at the DeAndre Swift anytime touchdown score. Kenny Gainwell is not going to play. It doesn't seem like it. We talked about Goddard not being involved. Nick Sirianni also offered up that DeAndre Swift is someone he wants to get the ball more to. Home opener. Philly boy back in his first game in Philly with the Eagles. Sirianni loves a good story. I could see DeAndre Swift getting some of those goal line touches uh, around the red zone. St. Joe's prep. You know, I love that guy. Uh, no, it's Swift, one, plus yeah, 123. Like yes. He's plus 123. Anytime score. My same game parlay is going to involve Jalen Hurts. Like you said, I'm going with the over 39 and a half rush yards. I mm-hmm. like Jalen Hurts to score the first touchdown of the game. And I like Jalen Hurts to score two or more touchdowns in the game. Put $20 on that. You're going to win 400 back. I like that one. What do you think of that one, Elliot? Look, as you said, I think this could be a big Jalen Hurts game. If you look at the Minnesota Vikings, they're banged up as well. Their uh, second best pass rusher, Marcus Davenport, didn't play last week. He's been limited on the injury report, so he might suit up. But he is not uh, going to be 100%. I think the RPO game could be a little more effective with the Vikings not having great edge rushers or edge players like the Patriots did. Outside of uh, Daniel Hunter, they don't really have anyone, especially if, if Davenport is out. So I think this sets up to be a potentially very good uh, game for Jalen running the ball. So I like the over. The first touchdown score, we know he normally gets those touches there. I think that's a good one. And like I said, I think a lot of points in this game. So if you're looking at the player props, you're looking at the total, I think over. Uh, over on a lot of props, over on the point total is the way to go. I love what I'm hearing here, man. Any other long shot first time or any time touchdown scores that you got for me? You already mentioned one Philly guy, DeAndre Swift, may reach the end zone. What about Alameda Zacchaeus at plus 1,300 for a touchdown? I, I don't know if I can give you that one. I already gave you DeAndre <laughs> Swift. But let's talk about Quez Watkins. Quez Watkins got a lot of the snaps as a 13 rece- 13, third receiver in this last game. And also, he did score last year against the Vikings. Remember, he got that long uh, touchdown in prime time. I believe it was 40-plus yards. I predicted a Quez touchdown last week. Didn't happen. The whole offense ended up not playing well. But the Vikings secondary is not very good. They have slow safeties. Their corners are not good. They don't even really have a nickel corner uh, you know, at all. like that. So I think Quez is going to have a good matchup in that in that role against Minnesota. And I think that he's going to be someone that they target deep. Last week, they did not have a lot of deep throws. They struggled. And what this offense wants to do is get the ball deep. So I think a Quez, if you want to go long shot, a Quez anytime touchdown could be a good bet. I like it. I like what I'm hearing here. I think the Eagles are going to get the job done. You have a final score prediction for me? So I'm picking the Vikings 30 to 27. I just, I think that the Vikings need it more. I think that the defense is going to struggle and I'm a little bit in a, you know, prove it to me mode with this offense. They did not win a lot of shootouts and look, let's be honest in football. Sometimes a more desperate team uh, just wins and the Vikings can't start 0 and 2 or their season is over short week, two new coordinators, physical game in new England, in the rain. I just think a lot of things are in the Vikings favor here. So I'm going to go Vikings 30 Eagles 27. I'm going with the Eagles 38, Vikings 18. Wow, look at Elliot. that. Got them covering quite a bit. I think they're going to smoke them. I think they're going <laughs> to let Jalen loose, and he's going to have a game. Yep. That's why I got him the same game parlay, and I think they blow him out. Very but nice. people will be very Elliot. Hit on we'll guys. be able to follow. We'll be able to follow up with this next week for Week Three of Bet the Birds versus the Bucks. Thanks for coming out, and if you're going to bet it, bet Parks. Amen. Thanks for uh, having me on.